Hello everyone. Today I'm sharing a review of the Pet Pilot Max bike basket pet carrier made by Traveling Canine. Here is what comes with the Pet Pilot Max. You'll receive the basket fully assembled um, in the color that you've chosen. It also comes with a safety strap that goes around the handlebar and also a tether that attaches to the dog's harness. And then we also have the owner's guide, which is instructions on how to mount. Uh, the mount itself, the two clamps to help attach the mount, the stabilizer bar, which rests against the gooseneck, and then you got the two rubber spacers that protect your handlebar from scratching and also gives that grip so it doesn't slip. So let's focus on the mount and how it attaches. So we first start off, um, we take the mount piece itself and the clamps. And if you look closely here, I've already installed the rubber spacers so that it's got a tight grip on my handlebar. Now I didn't tighten it all the way because there needs to be final adjustments before we tighten it completely. Um, the screws, as you notice, will go in from the top out the bottom. The clamps are pre-threaded, so no nuts are required. Um, so that's just less um, hassle there. So anyway, we go ahead and put this on the bike and you will adjust it. And I don't have it completely tightened so I can show you how it can be moved. Um, this will move up and down so that you get the proper angle for your basket. The stabilizer bar will attach to the two vertical bars coming down on the mount. This can be adjusted up and down by loosening these screws. These screws also, the back plate is threaded, so you don't need nuts for those either. Once you get it in position, you'll want to tighten these screws. You want the stabilizer bar to rest tightly up against the handlebar or gooseneck. That way when pressure is applied, there's no slippage. Once it's in position, then you're ready to tighten the top screws to make sure it's tight and will not move. Now let's go on to attaching the bicycle basket. The basket itself has an opening in the back. You'll notice that there are four steel bars. The mount has two hooks. The hooks will go in to the first and the last. So it hooks right in here. Okay. In order to put it on the mount, once you get the hooks in place, you'll notice this lever here. The handle will have to be in the upright position in order to slide that in the mount. So let's first put the hooks on. Okay. So now the basket is properly placed on the steel rod. We lift the handle and then you pull it back into the rounded slot. Sometimes this could be a little tricky. You might want to pinch it to get a good fit. You drop the handle down. That locks the basket into position. And then you can just take the safety strap over the handle to keep it in place. Now, the basket is properly attached to the bike and you're ready to put your dog inside. Be sure to always attach this to the dog's harness, never to a collar. And you can adjust these straps to cinch the dog down to avoid them jumping out or wanting to uh, hang out and then that way they're secure. Now the safety strap actually is attached to the, hand, to the handle of the bike basket when you receive it. This you'll simply wrap around the handlebar. Doesn't need to be tight. It doesn't need to be tight and then secure it. This is just a safety feature so when you're taking the basket off, if it slips out of your hands, you won't drop the basket. Just a little extra support there. But overall, the basket is great. Um, I recommend if you have a, a dog that is heavy, um, you want to be able to test it out slow. Don't go on a long ride because the heavier the dog, 
the more weight on the handlebars. So you need to be sure that you can control the bike. Um, so that's very important that you do that. If you want to test it out with your dog and get your dog used to it, you can also let the dog climb into it while it's sitting on a floor um, and let them get used to the basket. So now I did get an extra mount and that's why that's sitting here. I have another bike with larger handlebars. So I was able to contact the manufacturer and uh, we were able to discuss the issue and what had happened, and let me go ahead and detach here so I can explain and show you the details. Is first of all, the handlebars are thicker on my other bike. Um, so these spacers right here were too large. Um, so the manufacturer sent me these thinner rubber pieces that I was able to secure in between my mount and the clamp. So this worked out great. Also, the stabilizer bar, um, the handlebars on my other bike were out further. So the stabilizer bar was about an inch from making contact. So during the discussion with the manufacturer, they came up with a solution and were able to provide me with a spacer bar and two long screws. And this spacer bar simply goes in between these two plates, which will extend the stabilizer bar out one inch. And then the screws, you'll replace these with the longer screws. So they were able to help me out there. So if there's any, if you have a bike where it's not making contact or the handlebars are too thick, I recommend contacting the manufacturer and they'll be able to come up with a solution for you. Um, that way you can continue enjoying your bike and, and they'll make sure that it's, it it's taken care of. So I hope you liked my review today. Um, if you have any questions, you can make comments below. Um, and like I said, you can contact the manufacturer if you're having any issues. Um, have a great day.